trying to say, what's up with reparations? What y'all doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to Bernie, my man, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One time for Bernie. He saved. Yeah. <laughs> I, I learned a lot from him. But um, do you think he's going to be like, give him, give Cornell West like the side eye? Or you think he, or you think he's not going to even acknowledge him? Because he already said he's going to vote for Biden. I mean, he support Biden. But they're so close, Bernie and Cornell. It's like, are you going to give him like a, a shout out or something? Like, what do you think Bernie going to do? Um, if Bernie, if Bernie does not support Dr. West, then uh, we should throw Bernie under the bus. Woo! I mean, it's a, it's a thing of, uh, Woo! well, you know, the fact that I couldn't get Bernie to turn towards reparations and, and I'm frankly having the same discussion with Dr. West, I'm looking at his website waiting for reparations to pop up. And he would understand that. He would respect that point of view. I, I said it to him. I DM'd him. I said, hey, I text him and said, hey, I need you to strongly consider you need to put reparations on your website. And he was like, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> and I ain't heard him say anything since. <laughs> so it is what it is. So that means, okay, well, fine. I'm supposed to criticize you for that. Yeah. Politicians, you have to pressure them. It's not even, it's not personal. If Joe Biden tomorrow gave reparations to black descendants of formerly enslaved, I would support him. Mm-hmm. It's not personal. It's not about personal beef. It's not about who you don't like. This is business. If you need a refrigerator to put in your house, somebody can do it for the right price. They will come handle it and remove the parts, the old machine, and put the new one in, install it, and it's going to run for you the way you want it. Cool. That's your guy. But if they're not going to put a refrigerator in your house, then we're not going to hire them. And that's the way it is with any politician. And if you do hire them because they said they would and they don't, then you go fight them and take your money back. Get your money back. Mm-hmm. Or you go badmouth them and try to ruin their business. This is this is pressure. Politicians respond to pressure. That's why we call these people that sit around tap dancing or, or uh, telling us that we need to be quiet and be and just be glad we don't have Trump and that type of nonsense. Those people don't understand politics. Politics is about making people do stuff. Mm-hmm. You either make it with money. If you don't have money, you got criticism. You got two, only two things move politicians: press, right? Mm-hmm. Press, which is bad publicity, that puts them in the crosshairs, that makes them answer questions, or money which is donations that helps them stay in office. Those two things, anything else, it's nothing. It's nothing to them. So so with that in mind, that's how we should treat Joe Biden. That's how we should treat Bernie. That's how we should treat Cornell West. We should apply pressure to Bernie. We should let Bernie know. But shit, Bernie's 80-something years old. I'm surprised he's still in the Senate. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he's thinking. Why not go out? By passing the baton to Cornel West. Yep. Why not? What, what what you about to do, Bernie? Right. You about Mission to go fishing, move. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. What, what else is there to do, brother? I mean, dog, we all got a we always we, we all got the dash in the middle. Born on this date, left on this date. Come on, man. You get closer to that end date. You gotta know this. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to be known for? And I would I would think. He's a he's a true friend of Cornell West. He made the right decision. And if he doesn't, we go after him. I, I'll lead the charge. At the That's same right. time, That's right. if Cornell West don't adopt reparations, I'm gonna go after him because that's my job. That's what I was supposed to do. So that's the, that's the problem I got with these people that are Democrat. I'm not a Democrat, by the way. I'm an independent. I voted Democrat for Obama in 08. Then I voted for Jill Stein in 2016. Okay, 2020. Shit, did I vote for anybody? <laughs> it was some green party, somebody, bro. Yeah, I uh, Howie is somebody. I don't, even, I don't even like Howie, but I wanted the green party to get more people, more ballot access. I want the green party to grow because we need more parties. So I'm not one of those people that's ever going. You have to get my people. That's the whole reason for me being in politics and giving a damn about politics. I got to give black people something for their vote. I mm-hmm. want to help that happen because I mm-hmm. got kids. It's mm-hmm. real simple. We 13, 14% of the population. We owe 2% of the wealth. 
Black males make up 2% of bankers, of Facts. black bankers. Black bankers, black males make up 2% of lawyers, 2% of doctors, 2% of engineers. Mm -hmm. Black women only make up 2% of doctors, lawyers, and engineers. We only own 2% of the land. We own more than that back when we were set free 10 years after being set free. Right. Yeah. We've been stuck in the same spot. So my thing is, if you have a platform, don't get me wrong, if you don't, so support somebody that does. If you don't want to make your platform about helping black people, that's fine. Help black people other ways. But if you are a person that runs your mouth, you're a person that likes communicating, you're a person that, that uses this internet for something, use it to help your people, man, because we are on the bottom. We're stuck to the bottom. And, and look, even if you're doing okay, you still got family members that, that aren't. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not just about one person getting ahead and getting a bag. I love Dame Dash. I love Jay-Z. I love 50 Cent. I love Rihanna. But that don't help everybody. And they can't be expected to come back and help everybody. Right? I had that mindset. I had that mindset thinking, yo, how come they're not giving back or they're not even supposed to? If you think about it. Yeah, LeBron should be government. supposed to. Tyler Perry is not supposed to. They're not positive. What are they? You know? But if they do, that's great. Um, okay. Democrats are scared of him. And I think one of the things they fear yeah. is because he's going to get a lot of that black black men vote. So I don't mind. I'm, yeah. I'm going to vote for him because I went to the DMV and I changed my, uh, my political thing. So I, mm -hmm. I, I switched mine to Republican. But I want to ask you when it comes to that black Republican, I, I'm I'm not a what's that? Candace uh, Kunis Can Owens. <laughs> Kunis Candace. I don't want to be like that. But I want to ask right. him black. Where do you where do these newfound black conservatives or black Republicans go, knowing that we leave in the Democratic Party? We we're gonna go to that. Hmm. To the uh, to the Republicans, like what we do? They got nowhere to go, man. Like what we do? Uh, a, a truly, con a truly conscious black man or black woman has no party to go to. So it becomes a, it becomes a, a situation where you're trying to minimize harm. <laughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, like you're to, you're, yeah, you're trying to pick the person that's going to do the least amount of damage mm -hmm. to your to your to your community, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And it seems and like some people they're looking for a tax break. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people are looking and thinking about police, law and order, safety, where they're at. Um, presidents truly don't work on that level. Like, you know, they don't they don't control your safety at home in your state. So it's kind of null and void as far as that's concerned. Um, I, I don't trip off. I used to look at political affiliations. Problem is this, man. Most people don't keep it real in this space. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, how can I say this? I just put out something about this. Um, a lot of the people that are so-called Democrats or independents are really afraid to piss off the Democratic establishment. I've had people approach me for all types of opportunities, as you kind of touched on. And then they look at my content and they're like, oh, man, you was talking about Obama. I'm like, yeah, he was a president. Mm -hmm. What I'm supposed to talk about? You know how many people, how many black people were killed under Obama? Mm -hmm. You realize the number of the sheer amount of death there was with black people? All, all the major uprisings were under Obama, man. And what did he do about it materially? We didn't get a hate crime bill or nothing. What are you talking about? To, to be a black man with a platform and not call out Obama, when Obama was in office, anybody can talk about it when he leave. I see Roland Martin's punk ass now talking about Obama. Oh, he's still afraid to talk about Obama, really. He blames everything else except the man that was in the seat. That's, a, that's an idea of what Democrats typically do. Well, he saw they what happened wanna... to Travis Smiley. He saw what happened to him. Travis, Travis, Travis got hurt because he, he criticized Obama. Yeah. So it's a price to pay. I'm at the point, bro, where I don't have enough not to risk it all. <laughs> so, so I'm a realist, bruh. When you are, when you, when you.